hello friends welcome back to my channel so today's video is about rheumatoid arthritis i'm going to briefly discuss all the important points about rheumatoid arthritis and i hope you will find this video useful before going ahead please subscribe to my channel for more such videos and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up so let's get started so rheumatoid arthritis is a chronic disease which has both articular means it affects mainly the joint so it has articular symptoms and it produces the extra articular symptoms also so it mainly affects joints but it has some other systemic effects also and for the joints the important thing is that it produces the symmetrical polyarthritis all right then for the etiology it's unknown but it has strong genetic predisposition and it is more commonly found in females. The pathology is autoimmune. So what happens is the body's self-defense cells, they target the own cells of the cartilage or the synovial membrane and leads to destruction or pro uh, leads to production of cytokines which increases or stimulates the process of inflammation. Another thing is that they destroy, with this process, what they do is they destroy the cartilage, the bone, as well as the joint capsule. And all these things, they produce the joint deformities and joint pain because of inflammation. The antibodies, they are produced and so is the production of rheumatoid factor antibody, which is diagnostic of this disease. This pathology, it leads to production of various features of the disease which may be articular or extra articular the articular means related to joints the very peculiar thing is early morning joint stiffness is there especially of the hand and the feet joints then apart from joint stiffness there may be joint instability also joint pain is there then for the extra articular features it includes weight loss tiredness dry mouth fever then cardiovascular diseases so gradually all the systems they start getting involved in these patients tmj symptoms they are rare in this disease but may uh, may be found in 10 to 15 percent of the patients so patient may there, there may be limited mouth opening or patient may complain of the pain or tenderness in the joints so these are the things uh, which may be seen in these patients and as a dentist, this is important for us to know all these things. Another disease which may be associated with rheumatoid arthritis is secondary Sjogren's syndrome. So what is Sjogren's syndrome? It is basically an autoimmune disease in which is characterized by dry mouth and dry eyes. This happens because of lymphatic infiltration and acina destruction of the major, major salivary glands and the lacrimal glands. So along with this thing, if rheumatoid arthritis is found in the patient and this triad, it forms the secondary Sjogren syndrome. So this, this should be kept in consideration while dealing with such patients. Rheumatoid arthritis can also be seen in pediatric population. When seen in children, it's called juvenile rheumatoid arthritis or Stills disease or juvenile idiopathic arthritis. It's a rarer form of disease when seen in children but it's more severe than seen in the adult population when this disease is found in children there are chances of tmg and gylosis. such patients they should be treated by a multidisciplinary team comprising of a general practitioner a rheumatologist orthopedic surgeon occupational therapist and physiotherapist so all these people as a team they can provide the best care to a patient with rheumatoid arthritis medical treatment of rheumatoid arthritis patient it includes various classes of drugs first being non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs for example ibuprofen or aspirin this relieves the inflammation of the patient and hence relieves pain symptoms second is corticosteroids then third is demards uh, that is disease modifying anti-rheumatic drugs for example methotrexate or um, the sulfasalazine so these drugs, they modify the disease and uh, help the patient relieve the symptoms. And uh, the final is the biological therapies mostly used in the systemic involvement is there. Biological therapies includes the TNF 
inhibitors for example infliximab so such drugs they are used to treat the severer form of drug disease so this is all for now if you like the video please do share it with your friends subscribe to my channel comment in the section below and tell me which all other topics you would like to like me to make such small synopsis which will help you in your exams good luck guys